Hello YouTube, this is Trainboy and welcome back to another video. And today, in this video, we're going to be playing a little bit of Minecraft on my brand new PlayStation 4 Pro. And, uh, if you, um, uh, if you've, uh, whoops, um, sorry about that, guys, um, if you, uh, heard of Orientville, if you watched my Orientville, uh, town, that is kind of the same thing what I'm doing here, but it's going to be a little bit different. This is the Grand Canyon Railway that I'm building here. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, this, these tracks are right here are for the Grand Canyon Railway, and then this track is the, gr the BNSF Grand Canyon Subdivision, I call it. And the most interesting thing that I did with the Grand King tracks is I put wood as the ties. And if you've, uh, and if you think, uh, and you probably think what this is right here, you probably think that this is, uh, Frisco 1522. Well, it's actually not Frisco 1522. It is Grand Canyon Railway number 4960. That's right. It's the 282 Mikado steam locomotive that runs with the Grand Canyon. And yeah, I did, uh, I basically just built 1522, like the tutorial off of it. And then I like modified it to look like 4960, but it looks good. It's just, I'm, it kind of doesn't look like too much. It's not really completely accurate to what, he, what 4960 looks like, but, but it looks really nice. I mean, the bell is still there, and then the headlight, and I even made the, like, the front of part of the boiler even darker than it usually is, because that's what it looks like that way. And, yeah, I put, like, some speckles everywhere, like, some other stuff, and I put, like, more stuff here, and, and the tent, and I made the tender bigger, and it's couple behind this Grand Canyon Railway F40PH. And then uh, one coach right now, but I have a. I'm planning on building another coach later. And yeah, I put like a lot of stuff in here. I built like couches and other stuff. I even made a toiletry. It's kind of like the little pooper <laughs> that I make. Here we are in F40PH 231, I call it, or something like that. I don't really know. Anyway, and here we have the South Rim Log Cabin Depot. And you can see that the depot right here is it's pretty much accurate. I mean, it's not like too accurate, but it looks pretty accurate to what the original Log Depot looks like. I put like these little parts on here to make it look like those little top thingies. And it's these like Grand Canyon on here. I'm gonna tell you the inside. Here's the bike area. Here is the inside. And I and I really like log cabins. That's one of my favorite. These are one of my favorite buildings because they have like beautiful chandeliers. And then we have like the little ticket office. We have very comfy chairs here and tables. A little, I know this in there. Oh my goodness, I accidentally forgot to put this on. For some reason, that little robot computer voices keeps talking to me. It's really annoying. I'm sorry about that. But this is like the other series, here, and I have another plan to do. Okay, where is it? There it is. And then we're gonna put this. Yeah, I really like I really like these like little lamps designs. This is probably one of my favorite stations I built. We have another chandelier, which looks really nice. We're also gonna show you this staircase. This is kind of like a 
the baggage area. And then we have like a little lookout area. But yeah, I even did like some roof de top details. So let me get down to the uh, train area. And here's my water fountain. This little fountain here and I added like a bunch of detail on here to make it look nice. It's based because I watched uh, something. I watched this channel, M Mythical Sausage, and he did like a transformation for the Flatwood Village, and I and I saw this fountain he did, so I decided to build it myself and see how good it would look right here, and it looks nice. I put some chairs in here with trees. There's the locomotive. There's the crossing gates. And we have some traffic lights designs here. And then we have like this river crossing sign. And I finally was able to paint the railroad sign on here. For the first time. I've never did it before. But here it is. And then I'm, not, I'm in my original skin. So yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the traffic light area. So if we go down here, this is the bus stop for the South Rim Depot. And pretty soon we're going to build the Grand Canyon over here, which is going to be really hard to do. I put, like, fences. And, yeah. And I remember at the Williams, Arizona Depot, Santa Fe Depot, they actually have like these little barriers here like from one track to the other track and it looks really really nice I like how it turned out because I was because some some of them are green some of them are gray I decided to use like some fence like the iron bars here but it turned out really good And you can see that I took out one of the wheels from the pilot truck. See, there's only one wheel here. Because it's a Mikado. Why would you do that? And what I did here is I put, like, a birch fence gate. So, and then a door. So, if, like, people are, have the door open, they can just, like, wave out without, like, falling. And here we are inside of the cab. There's the throttle area. And yeah, uh, and you can remember back the one when, when I used to make like water tend when I used to make oil tenders and for and water areas tenders areas, and I actually rebuilt them this time, and the, and now it looks like a hose going down into the uh, the dipstick, and then I put glass right here to look like powder, and then we have another area for the water tank. And yeah, I, I completely changed the look. And the best part of like log cab, if you're like live in the log cabins, you have to have trees surrounding the log cabins. I like the way my trees turned out. They looked really nice. And I'm gonna also have a BNSF freight train going through here. I'm probably gonna use like maybe road railers or um, maybe those TUFC freight cars and intermodal container cars. I don't really know. But that's how far. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, um, I'm getting, uh, I'm gonna be getting the, uh, I just purchased the Amtrak baggage the Amtrak Viewliner 2 baggage car with my birthday money, and it should be arriving soon. Hopefully. Because this pandemic keeps delaying it. So yeah, I hope you... Um, this is, uh, just gonna be, like, the first video of the town. I'm just gonna... This could be just called my... This is probably, the town is basically called South Rim, because it's the South Rim of the Grand Canyon. And, uh, yeah.
that's basically all I have to tell you about, but yeah. And uh, you can see uh, 4960's number board I like kind of changed as well. And you can see that I did like some changes. I put like some speckles or something like that to make it look neat. And then I put Grand Canyon on top of the 4960 on the bottom. 40, in fact, 4960 is actually a former Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy steam locomotive. And it looks way different than it looks right now. Um, I think I could sh show you right now, but I'll have to show you a later date because I don't have my iPad with me. And for some, and right now, I, my phone is on a charger right now. Let me check one. Okay, which one is this? Okay, it's at eighty percent. Well, not the phone. I mean, like the charger, the portable charger. Right now. But yeah, that's all I have to say for this uh, video. Meh. And there's the box of the PlayStation Four Pro. That's basically all I have to say. Hope you liked this video. If you do, please give it a like. If you're new to the channel, please uh, subscribe and click the bell so then you can get notifications to my channel. And I'll see you next time. And, and anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.